Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to day three here on Farming Simulator 22. My name is Steve Woody and this is No Man's Land. We are doing a no mod run through. We're just going to recap. Yesterday we managed to uh, get some lime and fertilize the field. We didn't put the lime down because we wasn't able to, but we fertilized the field and we cut down some trees. We made a lot of space. We started to prepare this area for our production. And as you can see, we cleared out the back here. Still a lot of work to do, but we did make a good start. This morning, we want to get rid of these tree stumps. And so that's what we're going to do before we do anything else. The bales, 78% ferme uh, fermented, so almost silage. And uh, we just wanted to wait for the morning to see if there was anything in the shop. And there is. There is some stuff in the shop today. What do we have? Uh, we still got the... We still got the telehandler. Uh, we don't need that or that. That's fine. Um, this though is a good price for a tractor. It's not a very uh, not a very strong tractor. It's only a little bit better than what we've got, but uh, yeah, fifty percent off. Not really got that many hours on it, and could be upgraded to two hundred HP. It's, could be a good starting tractor for us, but I think we're okay for now. We're gonna leave it where it is. Okay, so we're gonna look at what we want to buy. So two things that we mentioned we want to get today. The first is a water. Uh, we need to make sure we do that. So in uh, miscellaneous. Uh, we note we talked about getting these uh, potential water towers. So this one here is 9,500. 9,500 for this one. It's 8,000 liters. Um, 8,000 liters if you wanted this one. In animal transport, they are uh, also... Not animal transport, sorry. In animals, they're also in here. Um, so this one as well, which is the same price. This Joskin one is the same price, but this is 7,300 liters. So... Uh, the, the 7300 is 95473 and here it is 9548 so it just gives us a little bit more this is the 8 so we're going to go ahead and purchase this this is going to be our first purchase it's 9500 um, this is specific to this map uh, we don't need anything else on it it's fine as it is we're not going to lease it we're going to buy it we're going to go ahead and click buy alright that's a lot of money spent but we needed it Next thing that we're going to release at the moment is going to be under forestry equipment. And that is going to be this mulcher. This mulcher. Now we don't want to buy this. We do want to buy this, but we can't afford it. So we're going to lease it. It's going to cost us a thousand. We're going to go ahead and do that. Alright. And so now if we go to our tractor, which we left up here last night, ready in anticipation for this, uh, we're simply going to be able to go forward onto the the mulcher here so we'll put the mulcher on the front so that's connected up to this and then we're going to back up onto here I'm so close but I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to come into this properly I thought maybe it would have uh, it would have worked, but it's okay. So let's back up onto this. There we go. And now we've got our water tanker. So our tractor ready to go. Our leased equipment and also our bought equipment. And we're ready for day three. So day three, exciting day today. We're going to create a new production chain. And the production chain that we're going to create today is going to be flowers in the greenhouse. So the greenhouse, there's many things. You can have a small, a medium, or a large greenhouse. On this particular map, because of the mods that the developer has enabled, uh, there's also two additional product types that are not available in other maps, and that is going to be flowers and mushrooms. So we're going to utilize the flowers today as a starting production chain. Uh, we'll also have a look at all of the different items that are available which ones are profitable, which ones are the best ones to do. And I'll explain why we chose flowers and why we're setting up a flower shop. All right, so this is a good place to be. We've got everything we need right now to be self-sufficient. We know how to make money. We're able to do that. We have the crops that are planted. We have the silage that's nearly ready. We have the uh, sawmill up and running. We do need to buy some um, pallet forks, and I should have done that whilst I was up there, but fortunately I wasn't uh, efficient enough. 
but in an ideal world I would have left the log uh, the log handlers behind and I would have picked up my pallet forks and that would have been perfect but it's okay so we're gonna make a first stop and our first stop is gonna be on the water tower and so we're gonna bring this to the water tower this is the only source in the game where we can get free water so we do not have to pay for the water here all we need to do is come up to this and we can't refill it it doesn't give us the option we have to first open up the water valve to do that we left click and now if we jump back in um, we can now start filling so this is going to put 8,000 litres of water into our tanker which is perfect is exactly what we need you have to be connected to the um, trailer with the engine running in able to fill that's going to take a little bit of time but this is a, a, a great first purchase for us on this map all right 50 percent almost there so we're going to go and press p and whilst we're here we're going to look at front loader tools and the next tool that we're going to need we will need to buy this is going to be the pallet forks we will need these so we're going to go ahead and just purchase them I'm going to buy them and say yes. Next time we're at the shop, we'll pick those up. So that is uh, another item that we absolutely do need. All right, that's now done. It's at 100%, so we can now drive off. Now we're going to leave the trailer um, just over here for now. And we'll come back and uh, pick it up a bit later. So for now, that trailer can just kind of live there. All right, and we've got our muncher. So our little mulcher that we've got here, the tool that we've got available to us, we want to be able to lower that. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower it. Once it's lowered, we then turn it on. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower it, we're going to drive forward, and we're going to go up to that tree stump. When we're at the tree stump, we're just going to press B. And that's it, tree stump's gone. It's also ruined the land, but that's fine. We can fix that in a moment. So again, coming up to this tree stump, and we're going to press B. And that's it. That's all we need to do. For bushes and tree stumps, this tool is perfect. We're going to press it again. Done. Alright, there is another purpose that this has. It has a third and final purpose. And we'll talk about that in just a second. For now, I just want to get rid of these tree stumps. Specifically these ones here, because these ones are really in the way. Yep, got that one as well, that's good. But the other thing that this tool can do, and you'll see it, is the orange claws on the front. It is a plow, and it will allow us to plow the land. So, just another feature. A three-in-one tool. A three-in-one tool. Now, it's not the biggest plow, but it does work. Okay. Beautiful. This one's quite a big one. We'll, uh, Come ahead and do this. Sometimes if it doesn't work, just lift it up and then drop it down again. Move yourself around, you'll, you'll find the sweet spot and it will go. If it doesn't work, you find you can't get rid of it, then just swap angles, come at, come at it from behind. It'll, there'll be a weight, you just need to play about with it. Try and find it will come from this side and we'll see if that makes a difference sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't it really just depends there we go that one got it so now that one's done I think that's almost no there's still a couple more wow again sometimes it can be a little bit hard to find them especially if you've uh, moved the trees already I like to buy this first thing in the morning or release it first thing in the morning because it does take some time to do this as you can see now we can landscape to um, sort out the the mess that this makes again same problem not wanting to go so we'll just move around do it from the other side I'm 
Wow. This one really not wanting to go. Sometimes this does happen, if it's ever the case. Hold on. Yep. And try and cut a bit more off of it, maybe. Sometimes that helps. It's not quite stumpy enough to wanna wanna go. Alright, we can try it again. No, this one being very stubborn. We will figure it out though. Wow, okay. Um. Yeah, sometimes they can be a little bit funny. Just got to find the right place to be able to get them. This one, however, just does not want to go. Okay, interesting. I'm going to try one more time. If this doesn't work, then we're just going to leave this one. No, this one does not want to go. Alright, well, there's not really much I can do about that. If it doesn't want to go, it doesn't want to go. Normally I would say though, it's the angle, so just swap to act, switch angle, come back to it, do something else. Nope, nothing we can do about that one. We're going to leave that one. We tried. We'll do this one instead. So hopefully this one works. Okay, so for some reason. Very strange. We'll try one more time. If this doesn't work, then we'll, uh, we'll look into it. No, okay, well, let's try bringing this down and seeing if this works. So this is the other thing we can sometimes do, but again, this will plow the land. No, I, I think for some reason it is just not taking up tree stumps right now. Alright, good to know. Let's, uh... Let's leave those for a moment. It shouldn't be a problem. We'll leave them for a moment. We'll come back to that in a bit. Alright, so we're going to head over here out the way. And then what we can do is press P. And from P we can go down to construction. And we're back to this screen again. So we're going to go to our landscaping tool, our painting tool. And we were using uh, the gravel dirt before, so we can use this again now just to... I clean up this area where these parts were. Can't do that tree, unfortunately, which is uh, rather annoying. Another one there as well, which you can't do. Okay, and then the rest of it is just going to be normal dirt. So we're going to find dirt. And along here. Perfect. You'll be much better at doing this than me, so it's all good. And this bit here. Okay, so now what we talked about yesterday, what I want to do is go to production. I want to go to greenhouses, and we're going to put down this, this flower greenhouse. And I mentioned we're going to have three of them. 
Now, this says it is overlapping with another object, which is very frustrating because it's actually not. Hmm. It's not overlapping, so I don't know why it's saying that, but we'll we'll humour it. It's that tree stump that's there that I can't quite get rid of, but we'll we'll come back to that. So we're going to put this right now, just here. This is where it's going to go. This looks like a good place to put it. Just trying to make sure we get it as close to the edge as possible. Perfect, so it's going to go right there. And this is where we're going to put our greenhouse. Okay, there's our greenhouse. Alright, so the first one is now down. That's great. What we're then going to want to do is put a second one down. I'm going to rotate this one. Um, but again, I don't think this one's going to quite work in the same way because it says uh, there's another object in the way there. So we need to be able to get rid of that object first. And then we also want to put a third one which is going to go down just here. But again, we've got the same problem. It says that it's overlapping with another object which could be these trees here so we might need to move those. But we've got the first one down. So now what we need to do, now this greenhouse uh, is down, is we need to move this water tanker. And in order to do that, what we're going to do, is we're going to pick this water tanker up. And we're going to move it so that it is in front of the greenhouse. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick here. Something I learned. And that is by putting the water tanker here. just like this perfect this allows um, this greenhouse right to because we need to be able to give it water yeah so all we need to do is go into the tractor and we can start overloading so I press I and it is going to dump the water into the greenhouse and you can see now there is water in a greenhouse it is filling up so we've got water in here, and we have water in here, and that's it. So we need to be in here. That is putting all of the water into that greenhouse, and that's all we need to do. Now that's it, the greenhouse is now full. If we were to have this greenhouse here, so that this water point is accessible to this tanker, we could put another greenhouse here, and that water point would also be accessible to this tanker. And then we could put another greenhouse here. And that water point would also be accessible to this tanker. You could have three greenhouses all using the same water tanker. And that is a way to be very effective and efficient with what we're doing. Now, we need to be able to get rid of. And then all we do is we just leave that, leave that where it is. Just like that. It just stays there. Now, in order for us to be able to do this efficiently, we absolutely must be able to, and this is where the challenge is right now, we absolutely must be able to get rid of these, uh, get rid of these stumps. So we're going to try just one more time to see if we can get rid of this. Yes, we did. That time it went fantastic. No, no trouble at all that time. So maybe we hope that also, because we've just had a bit of a break and come back to it, this one will also go as well. This one's not as important. We don't care too much about it. Yes, it did. It went as well. So whatever that problem was before, it's now gone. And that's fantastic. So exactly what we needed. Now, we're not going to be able to bring the tele um, handler down. So we could say that we wanted to, um, to do this, but it's going to get caught on this. So we might have to remove that or put it on the back should we want to uh, move some of these, uh, these out the way. But this is, uh, this is great. Oh, there's actually another one there. I didn't even see that one. That one is hidden in a bit of grass. So let's go and grab that. Um, there it is. There it is. I can just about see it. That is done. Perfect. So the other thing, as I mentioned, is we could get rid of bushes as well. So if you see a bush, you can simply drive up to the bush, 
lower this, press B, and there you go, the bush has gone. So this is, if you don't want to pay the money to get rid of the bush, the $2 that it's going to cost you to landscape, you can do it this way instead. So ultimate, alternate ways to get rid of bushes. And so that's it for that. That's all we need to do there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove this. I'm going to place it just here for now. This is a temporary thing so that I get access to this. I think this one actually is, uh, yeah, I can pick this one up nice and easy. I'm going to just throw it over there for now. Because I want to be able to put this other greenhouse down. But in able to do that, I kind of need to move these trees. Okay, I think that's all the parts. I think that one's on... Oh, it's there. There we go. Let's clean that up. So if we're looking at this greenhouse here, let's see if it works. So we're going to press P, go to construction. We're going to go to production, greenhouses. We're going to try and put this greenhouse down. All right, now this one's saying it collides with a player. So it's not going to let us put it down where we wanted to. Um, but that's fine. So we can just move this out the way. And also we're going to just put this down here. Because this is going to allow us to move these as well. So we'll move all this out of the way. In fact, while we're here, we could just try and grab these. We might even be able to grab both of them. If we're super lucky. No, nope, we're not going to be able to, but that's fine. We can grab the one and that's all good for now. There we go, that's out of the way. So press P, go back to construction, go to production, we're going to go to greenhouses and we're going to see if we can place this one down. This one's saying it overlaps, which is strange because it shouldn't be. So I don't know what it's overlapping with. I can only assume there must be here. Maybe another tree stump that we can't see. Might be that we have to get the lawnmower out. Might be help, helpful to be able to see it. Um, if you don't want to do that, we can simply press P. Go to construction, go to landscaping, painting. Again, we can use instead the... I was using the gravel dirt for this. I think this was like something like the area that we wanted to use. I couldn't see anything here. Maybe there's something, I don't know, I couldn't see anything. Alright, no, it looks good to me, so not quite sure why it wouldn't work. Space kind of looks pretty good to me. Just going to do the rest of this. Again, using quite a bit of money here, so I want to be careful. Don't go too crazy. You get the idea. All right, so... Let's go and have a look and see what could have possibly... Ah, so that there. There we go. Look, that was the problem. So there's one. You was in the way. There's one here, and there's also one right here. So that was what was stopping us. So we'll just go and jump into our tractor. We'll stick the mulcher back on the front. Oh, we can stick the mulcher on the back, it doesn't matter. At the moment, we can put the mulcher on the back. That way we have a bit of counterbalance as well for any rocks or things that we want to build, pick up. Excellent. And then we're just going to go around and pick up. That's that one. We'll also go and do this one. Now sometimes it does half and not all of it. It can be a little bit annoying, so you just have to try and get the rest of it. And hopefully now if I move this... 
press P, go back to construction, production, greenhouses. We should be able to place this, and now we can. We can place this down, which is exactly what we want to do. So we're going to try and place this in a place where it doesn't overlap with another object, like it says it is. So there's something it seems to be just there, which is a bit weird. Let's see what that is. Maybe we missed one. Huh. Well, I can't see anything there, so that's very strange, but we'll... We'll jump in the tractor. And we're just going to drop that off for a second. We're going to pick up this uh, just for now. We're going to move it out of the way. And we'll just make sure there's absolutely no reason why that won't be placed. So press P, construction. This is a lot of what it is about, just moving stuff around and trying to figure it out and get it right. And there we go, it works now, it'll fit. So we want to put this in here. The idea is we want to try and get it so it's as close as possible. For us, that's where we want to be. So now we've got these two. We also want to put a third one in, and the third one is going to go just here. But in order to do that, you can see we need to move these out of the way. So this is going to be our next job, is just to move these out of the way to get this third one in here, and it's going to live just here, like so. Just like this. So in order to do that, I need to jump into here. Turn this around. And I just need to drive really fast into all of these and try and move them. Okay, let's uh let's see if we can grab these. Okay. Whoops. Let's let that go just there, shall we? Here we go. If you do get caught and you're not able to get out, then you can just get the hacksaw out or the chainsaw out and just start uh, getting rid of these. We do need to move these. We'll move them in a little while. They are in our way. Beautiful. Hopefully, hopefully that's going to be enough space for us. Let's see. Press P. Construction. Production. Greenhouse. Okay, can we put in our third greenhouse? Will it let us? No, it will not. It's telling us it's still overlapping, which means we probably need to move this one over here. In fact, hold on. I think I just saw a couple of small ones there. It might just be in the way. Yes, I did. So this is probably causing a problem. So we can move that up here. Get that out of the way. And I think there may have been another one. No, maybe not. Any tree stumps in the way? Anything at all that could hinder our progress? I do not believe so. Okay, we'll try one last time. See if that works. 
Sometimes it could just be something as simple as that stick. Other times it might not be. It might be something a bit more difficult. So here kind of seems like it's this one here. So, okay. Good to know. Now most people will just edit all of this out of the video and just give you the end result. I want you to see what it's like so you actually understand and can appreciate some of the challenges that you'll face. This is a little bit too big. Definitely a little bit too big. Oh, we'll leave that one there just like that. Okay, now there is absolutely no reason why that shouldn't work. Let's try. Wow, really? Still not going to work? Okay, interesting. Well, unfortunately, uh, if it doesn't want to work, there's not really much I can do about it. Um, it will seem to go that way though, which is interesting. So, that works there, just doesn't work there. Okay, so there must be something. Maybe there's something here, like a one that we missed. It's very possible. If we can't find anything, then we can just clean the area out and come back and do the third one later. It's not that much of a problem. So we'll just do two for now, and we'll do the third one later once we've cleaned everything else out. And two's fine. Two still gives us um, plenty uh, to work with. Uh, whilst we're here as well, we're just going to do a couple of these. A couple of these. So let's uh, make sure we're in the right place. All right. A bit too heavy for us this one. That's okay, we can cut it. We'll just jump out. Pick up our chainsaw. Oh. Pick up our chainsaw and we'll just cut it to make it a bit easier for us to lift. So now we can do that one to start with. Also we've got this one which weighs like 3.9 ton. We can do that as well. Cut that there. This one as well is not too bad, it's only 1.6 ton. This one, another 3.9 ton, so we'll do this one as well. We're just going to cut them in half. 1.6 is not a problem. 1.6 is not a problem, we can pick those up quite easily. Another 3.2 ton. We'll just uh, cut that there. This tiny little stick here, get rid of that later. Oh, I just saw another one. The rest of these don't seem to be too much of a problem. They should be fine. So we'll be able to get rid of those. All right, we're just going to go and run those over to the, the wooded area over there. I'm actually going to go this way. I'm going to run over these. We'll clear these in a minute because these ones are going to cause us loads of hassle. And we're actually going to run straight into this one as well and see if we can knock it forward. What would be ideal, and I don't know if it'll work, but maybe if we're lucky we can knock it off the roof. Yes, straight into the cell area. Fantastic, so now we can just jump out of there. Sell both of those. And continue on our journey now if we have a look over here we can see all the pallets are done 
we have no space for more pallets. So what we're going to do at this stage is press R. And I did mention to you there was an option here. We can see planks for storing is almost full. We've got 8,000 uh, liters in here. That's eight more pallets ready to go. What we're going to do is we're going to change this right now to selling. And now we've got five and a half thousand uh, pounds. As the pallets start to sell, that money is going to tick up. Uh, and we're going to watch it. It's just going to start to grow. So five and a half thousand pounds at the moment. And uh, if we keep an eye on it, on the next cycle, and instead of doing the pallets, it will sell it. Uh, that money will go straight into our bank, which would be fantastic. Because we could do that right now. I want to try and take this one as I can in one go. Which would be ideal. Perfect, that's in. As long as it's in, it just needs to just be in that selling area. Some big old sticks here so we can get rid of them. Again, having this joystick as well, if you're going to be playing this game and it's something you're going to consider playing for a while I highly highly recommend I couldn't recommend it enough the Thrustmaster uh, T1600M joystick you can pick it up um, I think I picked mine up for about 45 pounds you can get them on special deal uh, either on Amazon or some related sites but yeah definitely worth the purchase in my opinion um, it makes it really really handy doing stuff like this it doesn't make your driving skills any better. It will, will help you to lift up these uh, rather large sticks. So again with this all I need to do is push this up the hill, get it into that cell area. That's enough for me. Come over and sell that. There's so much wood in here now. sort out that land in a bit that's another thing we're going to have to deal with now I just want to get rid of this one if I can because then I have a nice clear path to sell the rest of them I'm just going to zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing all right now, I think with this one we're going to end up just taking out the uh, chainsaw I'm actually going to just chainsaw off the end there to get rid of that bit because it's just annoying. And I'm just going to end up chainsawing this bit here from about there. That's perfect. As you can see, much, much... Oh, no. I spoke too soon. I was going to say much easier to pick up, but it seems I just caught it. Let's uh, see. No, it's uh, okay. So, just get that bit out of the way. There we go. Definitely have to sort out that bit of lump there. So this now 30,000 litres of wood in here now. I don't know what a litre of wood is, but there's 30,000 of them. Whatever that works out in the... Uh, Kilograms. All right, almost midday, and it feels like we're starting to make some form of progress towards this wood pile. Let's see if we can get rid of this one. Still a half a tree on the end of this one, but that's all good. I'm gonna take this with us.
Okay. Now we're going to go with the mulcher. Just want to put the mulcher back on. We also need to go and get some more water. Now, with the water, we could continue to take it over, get the free water, bring it back. And we could repeat that process. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. We could do that all day long. And it's free water. I want to see if I can move these a little bit more. Right, I'm going to try. I don't think it's going to work, but I'm going to try. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that if we go into construction, we might just, might just be able to get that last greenhouse out. Oh, it really doesn't like it. I think it is that one just there. So, I think this is the one we need to remove. Let's try and do these just to be absolutely sure. This one here, just like a little stick. So it's a little stick, it's actually cool. Um, because we don't care about this. Oh. Has it picked it up? Oh, we have, we managed to pick it up. Great. Throw that over there. Landscaping, painting, we want to go for the dirt. Gravel dirt, and we wanted an area somewhere like this. Pretty sure there's nothing on here. There should be nothing on here that can stop this from doing what we need it to do. Oh, what's that? There it is. There it is. We found it. All right, let's pick up that mulcher. Ladies and gentlemen, we found the problem. Okay, let's go ahead and clear that. There's actually two of them that were causing the problem we didn't see before. And that's sometimes why it's good just to landscape the land to get rid of these. Sometimes you just can't see them through the grass. Alright. We should be good to go. I can't see any reason whatsoever now for that not to work. So let's just press P, go to construction, we're going to go to production, greenhouses, and we're going to put this greenhouse down. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are now able to do it. So we want to kind of figure out where we want this to go. For us, we kind of want it there like that. That's a good place for it to go for us. There we go. And there's our third greenhouse. Now, what we need to do is grab our trusted steed, grab our container, and you can see where the water sources are, one, two, and three. I can't even see this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lower this. Just get rid of these bushes. Perfect. And I'll get rid of these ones as well. Lovely. And I'll get rid of that one. The reason I don't mind um, using the landscaping tool for bushes is now it's left that dirt mark, I'm going to need to landscape it anyway. So for me, landscaping it is just easier. 
Alright, so remember if we come to here, we have to then turn it on by pressing that. Then we can get inside and we can press R to refill. And that is free water. Any water tower by a water source will be free water. Now, what if I don't want to use this? What if I wanted to create another water source? What if I didn't want the hassle of driving over here, picking this up, and driving back, even though it's not far? You know, you could be tempted to set your greenhouses up around the water. It would make sense. But there's another way. Now, it's going to cost you, because you're going to pay a water bill for this, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, because the profits you're going to make are going to far outweigh any water that you're going to be uh, spending. So, to do this, what we need to do, and this is where we need to get this right, we're going to come around to here, we're going to spin around, and we're going to put this tanker right in the middle. Right in the middle of these three greenhouses right here. And the idea is we want to position this in such a way that it utilizes all three of those water points at the same time. It takes a little bit of work to get it in there. Once you're done, this doesn't need to move ever again. It can literally live here. This can be its new home. So, all we need to do now is press I. And we need to check. So, this has water. It's put some water in here, so that worked. This one's empty, meaning it's not far back enough. Not back far, back far enough. And this one has 5,000 litres. So that's fine. So what we're going to do is, inside the one that has the 5,000 litres here, we're going to open up the door. We're going to go inside. It's our new greenhouse. Lovely, all nice and empty, as we can see. We're going to press R on here. And we need to press Enter to activate. So we're going to Enter to activate. We'll do the same here and the same here. Now these are all working. All working. And look, here we go. One greenhouse full of flowers, beautiful sunflowers, all types of flowers. Amazing. So we're going to come out, jump into here. Now we need to go back a little bit. It might be that we need a bigger trailer that's going to work here for all three of these. Because these ones aren't quite working. Or the alternative is we could actually move the other greenhouse. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So we're going to just put a little bit more out there. See if this works. So, okay. This one's still empty, so it's still not far enough back. This one's fine, this one works. So, Alright, let's see if that did anything. Nope, still empty. Right, that's now done as much as it can do. Yep, that one's still still struggling, still empty. Yeah, this should be enough. Okay, I think that worked this time. It did. So this is running. This one's running. And it might be that you need to get a bigger container. The other thing you can do is you can destroy this, pick it up, press V when you replace it and replace it a little bit closer. That is another option. So now we have these greenhouses and we know they all work. Something else we can do is we can press P, go into construction. We can go to, I think it's going to be, let me just think where it is. Containers. Yes, in containers in buildings, here is a water tank. This water tank is going to produce fresh water. And we can place it just here. Now, if we place it here, and I'm actually going to place it by hand, so just like this. If we place this here, I want to make sure I don't overlap this building, but I want to put it down just here on the edge, just like this. Now, if I do this and I place it right, what this is going to allow me to do is it's going to give me that water source. Okay, just on the edge there. Perfect. So what this is now going to do is it's going to give me that water source that I wanted. And so now, when I'm inside my... Because I've got this water source here, 
Now in here, in my menu, I can start filling. I can refill. But look at my cash in the top right. When I refill from here, it costs money. So I'm actually paying for this water. It's no longer free. But what I've done by setting this up this way is I'm able to refill and I'm able to distribute without moving. That is free greenhouses, free greenhouses that I am able to do. And I could probably do four. I could probably do four if I was to organize these a bit better. But for now, free is absolutely fine. Free is plenty for me. I don't need any more than this. I'm sure you'll find a much better way to do this. Probably a two and a two in a line would make more sense. And a, a longer one of these going down the middle. With the water butt at the bottom, maybe. That that could be a, a better way to do this. There's, there's definitely better ways to do it. Press I, and it's now going to distribute that water. So that's it. I press R to refill, and I press I to distribute. And that's it. It's now full. So I can stop. I can jump out. Now this one isn't catching because it's too far uh, forward. This one's now 4.9, so that's full. This one's at 4.9, so these two are full. And it's going to drop off here. So this, every time this has a thousand liters of flowers, a thousand liters of flowers, it is going to put a pallet of flowers here for me. This one is going to put them here. And this one is going to put them over here. So this is fantastic, right? I've got these here. And what I could do is now drive a truck down the side here. And in fact, I think it's probably going to be better to find a way to do four. So what I might do is remove this one and rotate it. And I might have them one, two, three, four. So they're in line. Because all I need to do is be able to get down here to pick these up and to move them. That's all I need to be able to do. Pick them up and move them. So I don't really need too much space. But for now, for me, this works. You might find a better solution. By all means, play about, see what happens. Now, these are actually placed down on uh, dirt. Oh, there's another one there that needs mulching. So now I can leave this. I can press Q uh, on the container on the back there, and I can leave that. And I just come and hook up to it, refill it, empty it, and that is my flower shop, my flower production business. And so the reason I've done this and the reason I wanted to share this with you is because that is going to generate flowers. Okay, now let me tell you about the flowers. Because you're probably wondering, well, why flowers? Well, the reason I want to do flowers is because if we look... I'm going to do that in just a second. Let me just uh, get this. Wow. That one was stubborn. It didn't want to go. Okay, so if we do flowers and we look at flowers... There's one there as well. Let's just grab that while I'm here. Beautiful. Let's press escape. Let's have a look at the market. Look down for flowers. And flowers are selling for £2,000 per 1,000 litres. £2,000 per 1,000 litres. The only thing these require, the only thing these require, are water. Mushrooms are the same. Now, mushrooms pay more. Mushrooms are 2,700, but there's a reason I choose flowers over mushrooms. There is a reason I choose flowers over mushrooms. And if we look at our production chain, 100 litres of water equals 100 flowers. 100 litres of water equals 100 flowers. So right now, if we have 5,000 litres of water, that is going to generate us 5,000 flowers, which is five pallets of flowers. Five pallets of flowers is going to sell for £10,000. £10,000. Now the price goes up and down between 2000 and 2300 depending on the time of year. So as we go up into January, February, June and February, the best times to sell, trying to avoid March and July. With that being said, it is going to generate us each of these greenhouses, £10,000 each per cycle. Per cycle. So let's have a look at how many cycles do we get. Well, for flowers, it costs us £2 a month to run, 
and we get 144 cycles per month. 144 cycles per month. It takes 10 cycles to do a pallet. 10 cycles. So 100 cycles, 100 cycles is a is 10 grand. Okay, so that's 14,000 pounds per month that this can generate us. 14,000 pounds per month this can generate us. Each. There's three of them. So that is almost, almost £50,000 per month income. Almost £50,000 per month income. And what is the cost? It's water. And water, really not that expensive. In fact, if we look at our finances, I don't know if it breaks down the cost of water. Yep, water costs. So we've spent £800 on water. We've spent £800 on water to generate what is going to be effectively 30,000 in return. So 30,000 in return for an 800 cost. It's it's really not that not that difficult to see that this is a, a fantastic opportunity to generate money and one that I recommend you take a full, full advantage of. So now we've kind of got the basics of what we were doing. And so now what I'm going to do is just uh, take some dirt. I'm just going to put this on here like so. Uh, just because I want to kind of fill up this area. Okay. I did before uh, not have dirt. I was doing the gravel, but I realized they're actually based on dirt. So I will we'll continue with the trend. And that's it. That's our greenhouses. Just fill all that in as well. And all outside the back here. Now, what I can do with gravel is I can have a place to come and park. So if I wanted to, here, for example, I can remove all this. Clean all this up. And this is where it really starts to come into its own. This is where you really get to choose like what you want to do and how you want to do it. Now, I can think about the best place to park. So I could park maybe here. I can drag these around the front. These ones over here and drag these ones through here. Okay, it's not too bad to be able to do that. Now, I need to think about, well, okay, I need a road. So if I look for a road, maybe some asphalt here as a starting point. I want to kind of go from here across, and I want to kind of build a little road. We haven't had a road before. Now I've got a little road. This is going to give me somewhere to park. This will be my little parking area. This will be my asphalt area. This will be my little turning area. And this is where you can really start to customize your farm and build it however you want to build it. Oh, a little bit too far there. If you want to go back you can press the back bar uh, the right click and it will go back to whatever you were on before um for me it was dirt right yep so perfect there we go so now i've got this asphalt i've also got the dirt and what i've managed to create is an area that is now somewhat customized and I can continue to do this over and over and over again for different areas now I need a little bit of grass here just to fill this in perfect and I kind of need a little bit of grass here just to fill this in as well so just fill that bit in fill that bit in the grass will grow there now that'd be nice okay it's a start it's a start so now we've kind of got a little road in We've got our greenhouse business. We can even fence that off if we want. We can tidy it up. We can do whatever we want to that. We can make it nice and uh, organized. But we can bring our truck in here. We can reverse our truck in here. We can take it up to the shop. And that's it. Nice and easy. Job done. So that's going to be our production for our flowers. And because we can press escape, we can look at our production chain and we can see that each of these, this one has enough water, so does this, so does this. They've got enough water. They're all active and they're all working. So that's great. So we can leave them now 
because they're passive to a degree. They're passive to a degree. So we can leave them and instead what we can focus on is more cleaning up. So we know that we've got some more work to do. We want to go around while we've got the mulcher because we've only got this mulcher today and then it's going back. So we really want to get as many of these stumps as possible. And there we go. So the idea now is I want to go around and collect all of these stumps, which is why we took all these trees out. And that way we can then go and move all of the trees without any pressure. And then we can continue building. Okay. Remembering that we have to take this back because it was a least bit of equipment. So we don't want to keep it for longer than we need it. Okay. So the important thing to remember here as we're moving around is that you don't want to if you can help it you don't want to burn more land than you need to because every time you do this you're kind of creating a field you don't want loads of random fields all over the place the idea is that if you can kind of just do the area where the stump is it minimizes that kind of field creation unless you obviously want to make a field but this is why I'm doing this. And also, this tractor's not the best. But I could just run around with this on the floor and do the whole area and just completely blitz the entire area. It's possible to do that, but probably not with this tractor. This tractor's really going to struggle with that. Okay, I can see two. And that is why I'm lifting it up and I'm moving it and I'm doing it like this because I want to be respectful of the, uh, the engine on this tractor and how, how limited it is. Sometimes you just need to play about a bit. If it's not going to work, just lift it up, move it down, change the angle. You should be able to get hold of it. Another one just here. So I don't mind doing this. It feels like it's part of the game. It's how it was intended to be played. But if you really can't stand doing this, there's a mod. Get the mod and then you can do this with chainsaws just saves all of this hassle again some people might prefer that totally up to you there's no right or wrong way to do this I think that the way that I like to play this personally is I like to do everything manually first and then choose the things that I don't enjoy and automate or make those processes easier and use the mods for that now, I don't know if I might be fortunate enough to be able to get hold of this tree. But I don't know. Let's see. I might, I might just be able to get hold of this. I don't know. Nope, it's, uh, it's not going to have it too much on the front it, it's too much all right that's fine good to test we're gonna we're gonna lift it up get it out of the way they'll flip around in a minute there we go they just messed up a little bit but they're okay all right tree stumps tree stumps are the focus right now we're gonna need to get rid of all of the tree stumps once this goes back, we're not going to be able to get them. So let's uh, let's focus on those. Another one behind me there. Now you can understand as well why I wanted to cut all the trees down first. Because if right now I had to cut down the trees as well, I'm going to use so much time. I'm going to be paying for this lease. I don't know. I'm going to see. I don't know. I mean, never say never. But I wonder... I wonder, can I come here? Unfortunately, I cannot. It was worth a try. I would have to remove this, take out those stumps, and replace it. 
That is something I will do, but it is not something I will do now. And that one does want to go, so we can always spin around and try and do it from the other play, other angle. Hmm. And that's that same problem we had before. I'm going to try and just drop it, pick it back up, and see if that makes a difference, because that seemed to have worked before. It does! So if that ever works where it's not picking up, just drop it, pick it back up, and it should be okay. That was uh, something I've just figured out. Nice. Alright, uh, next one, there's one here. There's also one there. Oh, there's so many. I want to make sure we don't miss any of these. I think that's all the ones I can see there. Oh no, there's one right behind me, just there. They hide in this grass. Again, it could be a good idea to cut the grass. Or landscape it. Depends how much money you want to spend. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, so from here I'm going to go into construction, landscaping, painting, and I want to use normal grass. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to, all of this area here where I've done this, I'm just going to put grass down. I'm going to clean it all up, and also it's going to really help me to see if there's anything that I've missed. So I don't think I have. But this is part of our cleanup. Now it's going to cost me some money to do this, but I really don't mind spending it because... The way I see it is it's an investment in what is my home. So, there we go. Nice and clean. Okay. So this goes all the way up to the sawmill. So it's only fair that I do this up to the sawmill. Um, oh, yep, see, I missed one. There's one there. Now, this is costing me money, obviously. I've just spent a 1000 on this, which is uh, money you might not want to spend. It's money that we could be using to go towards a tractor or do something else. But I'm not in a hurry. There's no rush for me to do this. I don't mind doing the, um, the decorating of the land. There's, there's, no, there's absolutely no rush in this game to be able to just go straight for the end game items or anything like that. But for now, I want to do this. Um, I want to go back and it wasn't gravel dirt, nope, uh, it wasn't gravel dust, it wasn't gravel at all actually, I think that was, was it concrete? No, nope, it's not concrete, it must be asphalt, it was asphalt. So sometimes you just have to mix and match to kind of get it right, find out what you were using. Alright, there we go. So a nice, nice clean area there. Something we've started. Uh, this kind of... Uh, mud area that we've got here I think we can go better than mud I think we can actually do something better than that I think we can go back to the because we were looking at gravel before but um, I understand with the greenhouses having the mud so we could we could go to dirt I was trying to make it a bit more respectable as an area uh, we can just do this here just to get rid of these perfect Actually, do that here as well. Just get rid of these. They're all nice and clean. So this here as well, and then all of this land here. Just turn this into dirt. It just removes all of the grass. So now there's no grass to cut in this area, but that's fine because we didn't want to do that anyway. And we could run a lawnmower over here just to clean this up. But no more grass should grow here as a result of this. 
Okay. I'll run that all the way along there. And there we go. That is a whole area cleaned up. And there's obviously still a bit more to do. We'll do that over time, but already I feel like this is a massive, massive improvement to where we was. Um, we can definitely get rid of this now. We don't need any of this, which we had before. And we can turn that into maybe something later. This is where your creativity comes into play. Like, how do you want your farm to look? How do you want it to be? But already, as you can see, starting to make some progress. So now, now we can actually start to look at how can we improve this area here. You know, we've got this area here that looks a bit run down. Well, again, we can just go over these bits here. Kind of clean them up a little bit. Especially inside here, we can just make this a little bit cleaner, a little nicer. All these, uh, these weeds and areas where it looks a bit run down. If we wanted to, we could obviously put a new new type of floor in here, so it doesn't have to be this this type of floor. You'd have to move the items if you wanted to go underneath them. You can sometimes get underneath them, depends on the angle, but overall. I'll clean this up outside the house here. Later on we might put some plants down, do some stuff like that. For now, just consider this a little bit of gardening. And a little bit of maintenance on the house. So. Just a few months in since we've moved here and already looking like a different property. Okay. So I think we can also do just down the side here. Just probably clean this up a little bit. I have to move this tree that's here, but we'll we'll get to that a bit later. Move those twigs. Look at that. What a beautiful property we have. Do this as well. Nice and clean out the front. Okay. And then finally just this bit here where we're using this as like an entryway. entryway. Okay, so now that we've cleaned all this up, it's all nice and clean. Well, that part is. We've, we've left some grass here. That's fine. We can, we can have a little bit of grass there. That's fine. Um... And everything else that's going on, maybe we want to do some decorations. Maybe we want to put some lights down. So maybe we want to look at, maybe not street lamps, they're not very nice, but maybe these lamps. You know, they cost like 500, I appreciate they're a little bit of money, but... What if we put these down instead? We had these outside the house, so we can put two here. So I might want to just spin around so I get the right angle. I can put one there. And I can put one there. We can also look at other decorations, we can look at, there's other buildings that we can get, lights, fences, nice things like that. There's, you know, lots of ways that we can improve our house. It all costs money, so we're going to have to spend money on it, but for now, I don't think we need to spend that money. For now, it can stay as it is. Um, there is one thing that I am going to buy, though. There is one thing I'm going to buy, which I think this house needs. I really think it's missing. And look, it looks so much cleaner already. We've really cleaned up. We've really cleaned up. But what we need now, what we're missing... Um, I just need to move this actually. This is 1.6 ton. That's crazy. This is a huge tree that fell into our garden. That's the one I was trying to move. Okay, so we're going to have to get rid of that in a bit. Uh, let's just chop that off. How much does this bit weigh? That's fine. We can lift that up now. That's not that heavy at all. Good. Get out of my garden, please. Just throw it out the back there, into the uh, new grass area. And what we're going to put down here, just between the house and the um, the garage area here, we're going to press P, go into construction, and we're going to go to decoration, not decoration, not others, building tools, no, it's not there. It is going to be animals, others, dog house. Animal, other, dog house. And we're going to put our dog house. I think we're going to put it just here. In between. So two and a half thousand pounds for a dog. I think that's a bargain. And now if we press this. Ladies and gentlemen. We have a dog. 
We can press R to pet the dog. We need to give him a name. We don't know what his name is. But we can pet him. We can pick up the ball if we want to. We can pick up the ball and we can throw the ball for him. There you go. He'll catch the ball. We can also fill up his food. And now we have a dog. Our little pet. So, our farm starting to become homely now. Obviously still a bit run down. But nevertheless, starting to make some progress. Now these are 93% fermented. So almost done. Uh, we need to do something with that bit of grass there. This area, as you can see, all nice now. And here we go. We have our first box of flowers. Our first box of flowers. There's another one there. And there's another one here. Now let me show you why I chose flowers. Mushrooms make more money than flowers. That is true. I want you to look at the palette in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A thousand pieces. Look at the weight. Flowers don't really weigh much. You can lift up to 200 kilograms with your hand. That means we can pick up this pallet without the need of a pallet truck. Mushrooms or any other items that you use in a greenhouse require a pallet truck for you to pick them up and move them. This does not. What that means is that I can come along in my truck and I'm just going to move this uh, tipper out of the way because I don't really want this tipper at the moment so this can kind of just live here for now. But I can come along in my truck and I can buy I can pick this up and guess what I can just place it in the back of my truck no problems at all I can do the same here and I can do the same on the other side so now you can start to see how quick and easy it's going to be for us to build up a quite a substantial Starting capital. Just off of flower business alone. We're going to use ratchets to ratchet these down. And we have flowers. Ladies and gentlemen, we can now go and sell those flowers. Uh, before we do that, we need to make sure there's water here. Yes, 3,500. 3,000. And 3,500. We need to keep these topped up with water. That is important. Oh, But now that we've done that, we can quite easily just take this and go and sell it. Now I need to finish the mulching, I will do that in a moment. Um, these are secured down so they're pretty good, I don't have to worry about them. And I think now through this video alone today you're starting to see the power of customization and what you can do to really make this space your own. And this is before we've even looked at any mods, any attachments, any extras, any editing. This is purely just off of what is available in game. Now I think this, going back to my first video as I talked about, this is what is missing. I think that Farming Simulator as a game should offer this as a starting point for career mode. If you want a career mode, I think there should be a storyline, a basic storyline, that allows you to progress from nothing. So now we're going to go and sell these flowers. We have three pallets, and look, if we go over here they're going to sell automatically. We don't have to do anything, we've just sold three pallets and we've just made six thousand pounds that is two thousand pounds per pallet and what that means right now is that we can go into the shop now in the shop we're going to buy ourselves a trailer looking at what trailers are available this is a pallet trailer this is the one that i think is going to be best for us to start with it's cheap it's only twelve thousand pounds and we'll be able to put as loads of uh, flowers in here and then we'll be able to sell them there's other trailers that we can get. There's other things that we can get to make this um, uh, an easier job. But for now, for the, pr for the price of what this is, we're just going to go ahead, spend our £12,000 and buy this. This is something that we can now close the flap of our truck. Oh, while we're here, whilst we're here and we remember, we're going to go and fill up. So we haven't put any petrol in this. And I keep forgetting. So here we go. Drive into here and press R. Filled up with gas. Good to go. 
Also, just because we're here and we've got a little bit of money and we're going to treat ourselves, we're going to pop inside and we're going to repair our car. So we can repair our car for £900. We can also customise it. If we wanted to change the colour of it, we could. It's not going to cost us anything to do that. So should we want to have a bright pink car, it's going to cost us £1,000 to do that. £2,000, but we could have the Barbie mobile. It's possible. Anything that we want is here in terms of colours. Now, we don't have to pay anything for white, um, but anything else I think we do. Yeah, so I think white is the only colour that we can get for free. It's not even white, it's chrome, sorry. So chrome we can get for free if we want to, so we can do a repaint for free. We can even change the license plate if we want to. There's different options for license plates, different types, if we want them. So if we wanted to do that, we could. Go W O O O O O D Y. So Woody is my name, and I can have that there. I can even change the color of it if I wanted to. I can do whatever I want to it. So good options there to be able to play about. I've now got my customized truck. It's not going to cost me anything to do that. Okay, I can change the paint condition and repaint it if I wanted to. I'm not going to. I'm going to leave it as it is. So it is still a bit knackered. Um, but there we go. I have a brand new white truck. So just showing you again some of the options that you have available to you in the game. Change from a red truck to a white one. And that goes with my white trailer. Now I can't pick up the forklifts, unfortunately. I'd love to be able to do that and, and take them back with me. It'll be a lot easier. But I can't do that. But here we go. And then to open up the back, just press X and it opens up the back doors of the trailer. Once we're done and we've loaded it, jump in, press X and it will close it. There we go. Our little U-Haul. And a space where we can put pallets. Now I don't know, and I haven't tested this, I'm assuming I can get two pallets in there side by side. That's a really good question because I don't know. I haven't tested it. That's something we'll test when we go back. But now we can put four pallets in the, in the back of our truck. We can also put pallets in the back here. That's going to allow us to carry more pallets. More pallets equals more profits. And look, the next lot of pallets is already here. So we're going to let them stack up. There can be five in total. We're going to simply jump out. Grab these and place them in the back and actually, do you know what? No, they probably, hmm. Okay, I didn't know that, so let's have a check this way. Maybe this is not the best truck to buy, let's have a look. Maybe we need some sort of a trailer instead. Alright, so I think these are going to be better to get them on the ends like this. Oh yeah, we're going to be absolutely fine. So look, we can get these in here. So there's another 8 that we can put in there. So there's going to be 15 in total. So that means we can have 8 in there. 9, 10, 11, 12. Wow, we can do 12. Oof. 12 at a time. So yeah, maybe not the best truck to buy. Maybe we need, in terms of a trailer, something a little bit better. Um... I don't think that's going to be big enough. Well, maybe be maybe it is actually. Maybe that's going to be a better purchase. Hmm. I need to test that. I actually don't know. I need to test that. Let's um Hey, let's let's go back, shall we? Well, actually no. Let's not go back right now. Let's put these in here. Right, we'll leave these for now. They're totally fine. We can even pick that one up and chuck it on top. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Well, it will go in. Sometimes just needs a little bit of caressing, but it will go. Perfect. I thought, and I was a little bit surprised, because I thought that these would have gone in sideways, like the other way. And then I thought we would have got maybe a lot more, and I thought we'd have got 4, 8, 12 in the back. I actually thought we could have got 16 in, but I definitely thought we would have got 12. Alright, so there's enough water in here still. Great, enough water in there and enough water in there. So that's fine. So don't need to do anything else in there. 
It's going to start getting dark soon, so I don't want to waste too much time. I'm not worried about the tree stumps around the side there, but I do want to get these ones. So any that I can see now here, I do want to just quickly grab them. And there was a few that were missed. Okay, a bit strange that I can't get onto that one. We'll try a different angle, try a different approach. Sometimes that can help. Wow, no, this one is uh, very stubborn. Oh, no, there it goes, we got it. Just sometimes lifting it up, putting it back down. Oh, that can also help. Uh, I think that one is one that is part of the... I think that's stuck in the ground, so I don't think we're going to be able to get that one, unfortunately. But there is one... Oh, there's a couple here, actually. I don't know if I'm going to get these either. We'll try. We might just be a bit lucky. If not, it's not too much of a problem. We can always get them in the future when we come back. Now that one. Um, maybe. Maybe I can get this one. That's, yeah, you can see it's definitely a bit weird. No, I don't I don't think I'm gonna get this. We'll try, but I don't think I will. Oh wow I did. Okay, it did get it. But yeah, that was uh definitely part of the problem before, so good to know. Okay, there's one here. I think there was also one there. Was there one? I can't see if there was one here or not. No, that wasn't one. That was just a flower. I think over here. There is one here. There's a dog over there. Or there's a deer. Alright. Progress. It's all about progress. As long as we're making progress. We then need to go over into the big field and we need to clear the stumps that are in the field so that when we do the uh, the ploughing next. Alright. Well, that tree's fine, we're going to leave that one, it's not in our way. Oh, actually, do you know what? We could. Oh, no, we're going to leave it. It's a nice little marker for the corner. This one's not in our field. We can't do anything with that. That one we quite like. It's quite nice. This one, however, this one doesn't belong here. So something like this, if we don't like it, we can simply jump out. Grab our chainsaw. Take it down. Jump back in. And find that stump. I have no idea where that stump is. I'm just making the assumption that I got it. I actually don't know where it is. Gosh, it's far too long. That's not a tree, that's just part of that tree. That one over there is fine. We already knocked these two down, so we just need to go and get it. As you can see, the grass has almost grown. October now, end of October. Okay, that's one. very very hard to see these in this grass there it is right at the base there so it's very well hidden just 
going to lower that down and head forward and hope for the best. There it is, we got it. Alright, that's those two down. There was one over here. I think I might have got that. Just going to double check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just got that one. And there was some at the top corner. Those, I believe, were the last ones. So that's it. I can do these. And once these are done, I can take this, uh, give this machine back. But in the very near future, we're going to be in a position where we can buy this. Because the only thing that was stopping us from buying it was not having the money. And we now, we have the money. Or well, we will have the money. Thanks to our flower business. Okay. Nice. That's done. Just want to finish off this tree. Good. And, oh, I forgot this bit here. Perfect. Oh, there's another one here I forgot. So later on we can bring the uh, the truck up here with a trailer. Yeah, I definitely don't like the one that we bought. I'm very confident that we're going to be taking that back and selling it and uh, treating that as a mistake. And we'll buy a better, maybe a flatbed or something, something that's more suited to our needs. I don't actually know where the others are. Oh, there's one just there. These don't matter too much. I mean, it's nice if we get them, but it's not the end of the world if we don't. I think that might just be it. Definitely going to make it easier for us when we do the grass next. Oh, we're sliding all over the place here. And there's uh, there's our pallets we need to go and sort out as well. So, yeah, I think overall, a good day. Very productive. Lots done. And there are some stumps over here. I'm not too worried about these stumps at the moment. I'll grab this one just as like a last one before we go. Uh, the rest of them we'll grab later. I'm, I'm really not too fast by them. So I want to find myself a big tree like this one. I'm going to press P. I'm going to go to leasing. I've got this equipment here that we've leased. And we're going to return it. So that can now go back. It's done its job. Now we're back to just having a telehandler for the um, front loader. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try, try our best to grab this. Now I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. I think we're going to struggle, if I'm honest. I'm even going to jump out and grab this because that's annoying. Oh, that can just sit up there for now. And look at this area now. Much, much cleaner. We've done so much work today. Today really has been a day of just cleaning up, polishing, sorting out things. And it feels really nice to have uh, been able to do that today. So we're going to see if we can just get onto this. We might just be lucky. Right now, if we're very fortunate, we'll drag it out. It's going to be a bit hard because of the fence, so we'll do it slowly. Just trying to get it over that fence. Very, very difficult to do so. 
there we go, we're out. Alright, now we're out, all we need to do is just move this to here. And <laughs> so we're going sideways a bit. Perfect. And we can sell those. And if we look at our production chains, we've got our wood. We can see that running perfectly. We've got enough wood in there now. Lots of wood in there now. The flowers all have water. So they're great. They're storing flowers. So we have two production chains up and running. Making us some money. And I think right now we should be ready for the silage. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to drop these off. So we don't want to drop the whole thing off. We only want to drop off the, uh, the fork. So we're going to put them down on the floor. So they're nice on the floor. And we're going to press Q just to remove them. They can stay there. And we're going to head up to the shop. Now, I don't think there's any more flowers ready just yet. No, but they're almost ready. So we're going to just wait for those flowers. And what we'll do is we'll we'll move the car. We'll drop the trailer. And actually, with the car, I'm just going to take the car and give it a bit of a jet wash quickly. It's getting a bit dark, so we're almost finished. But we'll do this last little part. Uh, just watch the dog. Move. And the lights are on at home, which is nice. We've got these new lights. We're just going to take the truck, pick up the jet, oh, pick up the car jar. All right, let's just give this car a nice clean. See if we can get this dirt off the side. We've got a nice new paint job, and we kind of want it to look nice and clean, right? Yes, yes, yes. Already, that looks really, really nice. Much, much better than it was. So, look at that beautiful, beautiful new truck. Nice new wheels, get the windows, make sure I get all the back cleaned out. Beautiful. Alright, so the truck can kind of just live here for now, that's our little parking space. Given that we don't need it right this second. You alright boy? Good boy. On the ball. On the ball. Fetch. Clever dog. All right. These are at ninety-eight percent. Ninety-eight percent. That means we'll be able to do those tomorrow. All right. And these are now ready. So we're going to put these inside. We'll put that one in there. Grab this one. Do do do. -do. And we'll grab these. Oh, no, this one's not quite done. It's uh, oh, it's almost done. We're just going to wait. It's another 10 litres. You can see in the bottom right-hand corner there, it's ticking up. As soon as it gets to 1,000 litres, it will push one out. And it's got enough water. When we go to, Before we go to bed at night, we're going to make sure that there's enough water in here. And then that way, it will uh, continue over the course of the night. And when we wake up in the morning, we'll have a full load of flowers ready to deliver. So we'll just chuck that in there for now. That's done. And we'll grab our tractor. Oh, watch the dog. Now I thought we would have got more pallets in there. I didn't realise we are only getting eight in there, which is not ideal. But I will shut the back door. And the pallets are safe and secure. They're not going to fall out. And that means we can... I'm going to go full speed, even though it's only 25 mile an hour in this. But we know we're going to get 2,000 per pallet. We know we've got six pallets on board. Alright, so just alone from that order is another 12,000. That's going to double our money we currently have right now. That's the power of the greenhouse and the flowers right now. The flower business is strong in no man's land. Who would have thought it? No one to sell flowers to, but everybody seems to want them. Uh, 
it's starting to rain a little bit. It's absolutely fine. Going to go into October, uh, into November now as well. There's not really much happening in November. In November, December, and January. In fact, up to March now. Not really much happening in terms of the crops. So tomorrow, uh, we should be able to cut the grass tomorrow and get another grass cut. And then we can leave that over Christmas to ferment. And then we can sell that off in a new year. So that's one thing we can do. Hopefully try to sell it off around January time because that's where it's most profitable. Silage in January I think is where it's most profitable. And we could also leave the other bowels if we wanted to. It's just they're going to get in the way as we cut the new grass. Also we can look to generate some money and we can buy the new lawnmower. We can look at getting the windrower. And we can look at buying the baler. That is going to really help to increase our uh, ability to generate money through grass cutting. We can then buy a new field. We need to buy a new tractor. So all of these things that we want to do, we need to just obviously save up to be able to do that. So let's just sell these flowers off. We just need to go over to this, leave that on there. And that's it. They've all been sold. £12,197. Amazing. Okay, so let's just flip this around. Pick up our forklifts because we've got those pallets of planks that we need to come and uh, deal with that we haven't yet uh, sorted out. So now we've got our forklifts to do that. And also, let's have a quick look in the shop. Anything to buy. This new item, uh, we don't need. I do want to check out this. I don't know how long this is. It's hard to tell. I do want to check this out. I'm going to buy it. I want to check it out. Uh, actually, maybe I'll lease it. It's £400. All right, we'll lease it. Yes, it's definitely longer, right? Definitely longer. Look, it's almost twice as long. Okay. And I can put ratchets on it as well. Hmm. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I almost think it's wider as well, you know. I almost think it's wider as well, so... Hmm. Okay. Some things that we need to change here. I'm going to take that back. Uh, that we're going to return it. I know we just spent £400 and it was a waste of £400. But this one that we bought, mm, I'm going to sell it. I feel like I made a mistake buying that. It was a mistake. I don't want it. Actually, I'm going to buy this instead. There we go. I think this is going to be a better purchase because we can double stack the pallets quite easily. It's going to be easier to get them on and get them off. We can ratchet them so they're going to be safe. And it's longer so we can get more pallets on. So I definitely feel like that is a better investment than the than the last one. Also, I'm assuming if I press uh, X, I can drop that down. I can, which means I can also bring cars on board. So I can load cars up as well. Nice little trailer actually for eight thousand pounds. I, I don't think that's a bad don't think that's a bad purchase at all. So we bought the trailer. And we've got £25,000 in the bank, which means we're, you know, we've only spent 75% of our initial budget and already we've bought so many new additional things. It feels like we're starting to make some progress. It feels like we now have a decent way to be able to make money. We've got the planks now. So we can actually take, what we can do is take this trailer, take the pallet plank, uh, the pallets, the planks, um, put those on, load this up. In fact... We can probably do that now, to be honest with you. We've got enough time. Just wanna... There we go. So we can probably go and load the pallets up, but it is pretty dark outside. It is getting close to Christmas. Maybe we'll do it in the morning. We'll just check there's enough water. All right, so we'll, we'll leave the pallets tonight. We'll fill up the water in the greenhouses because that's important. We need to do that. And then in the morning we're, we're good to go. So let's um, let's start by taking this trailer over the back towards the... I'm trying to think of the best way to get there. I'm going to try and go left here and see if I can. I don't know if this is going to work. We're, we're going to give it a go. We're going to see. See our house now with the two lights, which are nice. We're going to go left. 
And I don't know how this is going to work because I think there's going to be all sorts of trees and bushes and all sorts. And I think I'm going to make a right mess of this. I don't, I don't recommend this. This is not a good idea. You shouldn't do this. Oh, do you know what? There's a light here. Maybe we, maybe we can do this. Uh, the problem I'm going to have here is this is actually on a bit of a slope. So I think what I'm going to do is just leave that here. Gonna, no, I actually. <laughs> oh no, I pressed the wrong button. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can load that back up. And uh, that's the trailer that we wanted to remove. All right, so what we actually wanted to do was to, and I don't know if we can do this, but lift these up so we can use the right mouse button to move the forks in and out. So that's one thing we can do. We can lower this down. And it's much better with the forks now. I don't because of the, the 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 kind of ground that I'm on. It's a bit difficult. There we go. And it's night, so it makes it even harder. But there we go. We've got this. And so having the ability now to be able to do this, I think this is much better than the other one. Oh, there is a little side on these as well. I didn't notice that. So that's pretty cool as well. So we can although this side looks like it might be broken there we go we can drop this and pull back out of that and it's going to slide out oh no it's not I thought it was going to slide out with the edge there There we go. Not ideal, but we did manage to do it. Yeah, that kind of looks a bit broken. Hmm. Oh, the other side's the same. It's fine. So that's what we'll do. Not now. Not now. We'll do that tomorrow, but that's uh, that's something we can load up. It's going to be those pallets. We'll do that in daylight when we can see what we're doing. I just wanted to kind of give you an example. So we can sell those pallets off, we'll make good profit on those pallets as well. And then we kind of need to come back across to here. Oh, can I get through that gap? Oh, I think I might just be, I might be alright here, you know. Yeah, I can do that. Excellent. So now I just need to come back to here. Look up to this. Press Q. Press I to start dumping the water. Press R to refill it at the same time. Nice. Now I'm going to press escape at this point and I'm going to go into the game settings. and I'm going to change one of the game settings which says automatic engine start and I'm going to turn that off. I much prefer to be able to get out of the truck and the truck stays running because now it's going to keep doing this. So this one is full. Great. This one is full which is great. This one is not. So not great. That means I need to move forward. Maybe it's not even as much about moving forward as it is moving over a little bit. I think that's working. Nope. So we need to go forward a little bit more. There we go, now it's doing it. So yeah, we need to make sure either we have a longer trailer, that is what a longer tanker is an option, or we need to reposition the greenhouses is the other option. So two things that I can do there. Uh, but they're now full up, so I can now refill. Stop the overloading, just check these out. So this one has 5,000 litres, this one has 5,000 litres, and this one has... 5,000 litres, perfect. So they all have their water that they need. I can also increase that if I wanted to. So we'll leave it tonight. That will go over the course of the night. We'll wake up in the morning and see how it looks. Um, these might all be full, be empty. 
and if that's the case we can add additional storage and I'll show you how to do that tomorrow so jump into here because I now have to turn this off manually so press enter turn that off and that's it we're done for the night we're, flowers are producing wood is producing um, these are now fermented look they are silage now so these are now silage which means tomorrow we can actually come and sell those which is great and also the grass is ready the grass is ready I think it's pretty much grown which means tomorrow we can cut the grass as well lots to do lots to do thank you very much for joining us today it's been a pleasure I hope you've enjoyed it we did a lot um, but I feel like we made some good progress got some good money coming in now just before we end let's have a quick look and see how our finances are for the day so the first time we've managed to turn a profit August 47,000 in debt or uh, spent uh, September 31,000 spent October 3,500 in profit and that is after we spent 31,000 on new vehicles 15,000 on construction and also leasing as well as water we spent 2,000 on water and look at the profit we've made as a result 45,000 pounds profit from selling products and that is just flowers so we made um, I don't really count that as a profit from selling vehicles because we we lost uh, two and a half thousand pounds on that it's okay um, but yeah the 45,000 pound profit for the 2,000 pound cost absolutely incredible a brilliant business to start up the flower business on no man's land is the way to go to get started ladies and gentlemen thank you very much I will speak to you again tomorrow